Hi Capricorn, welcome. This is your energy check for the month of December 2024. So let's jump right in and see what messages we have for you. What does Capricorn's higher self want Capricorn to know at this point on point in time? What messages do we have for Capricorn from their higher selves? And we begin the reading with the Five of Wands. What about the Five of Wands? We have the Fool. So I feel like Capricorn, there is a potential of a new beginning around you, but you may not be sure as to whether, well, let's just say this is not you or someone in your energy, you, you can decide which whether this is you or somebody you're vibing with or somebody's energy who is entangled with yours but there is a new beginning and someone could be feeling conflicted about taking a risk you know taking a leap of faith um, the person there is an energy of a beginning but if something is begun without uh, any grounding it seems like there is some grounding that is missing in this situation uh, with the five of wands here whoever is uh, whoever is about to start something new may not be completely grounded plus with the fool energy here what is the fool here for the ace of wands is definitely a new beginning that's showing up um, but there is a lot of conflict around it there could be people uh, clashing opinions clashing clashing personalities um, and if there are not if there are not clashes externally the person taking the new leap of faith could be uh, you know not very sure not very sure of uh, the grounding is missing if we if we you know if we add the five here the six the sixth wand here and the seven wands here it comes more as a uh, uh, seven of wands is more as a de defense so somebody could be you know just jumping into something new as a defense mechanism but the energy could be not grounded uh, you know with the knight of wands underneath again uh, uh, Again, this is the eighth want that is coming here. So there is, of course, if we add the five, six, seven, eight, uh, there is a flow in energy, but there is not. I feel like, let's clarify. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? We have the two of swords. Yeah. Um, With the two of swords here, the situation calls to follow one's in intuition, not go by one's feelings or what one is seeing. Uh, you know, somebody could be jumping into a new beginning because they're trying to protect their heart space. Uh, and of course, coming to, uh, you know, there is an energy of trying to find balance because it is two. The twos are all about balance, about making a choice. And over here, the choice is about what is what is my truth? What is the truth? What is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? We have the chariot. Okay, so there's more movement. I feel like... I feel like there is a new beginning, but there is a lot of conflict or blockages around it when it comes to getting work done. There could be hurdles along the way. What is the advice for Capricorn? What is what, what is Capricorn's energy in all of this? We have the Knight of Wands coming out again. So, uh, it did come out lopsided in the corner over here with the knight of wands in the reverse uh, what's the advice for capricorn we have the lovers whoa 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 i just want to say capricorn 
the Knight of Wands did come out in the reverse uh, and with these wands here, you know, with the Five of Wands here, uh, there is something about when the wands are not grounded. See, the wand here is on this fool's shoulder, on the fool's shoulder. Here, none of the wands are grounded. Here, the wand is in the air. Over here, the wand is in the knight's hand and the knight is moving plus this fell out in the river. So, there is something new but, but it is important for our desire and our will and our spirit and soul to be aligned with that of the divine. Uh, when we come from a conflicted place or you know when when our when our inspir when our inspiration is not aligned with the divine there could be hurdles and blockages that we experience and i feel like some of you could be at the brink of a new relationship or starting something new but uh, i feel like the question to ask here is uh, do I really want this? And uh, if I want this, why do I want it? Is the reason for wanting this new beginning aligned with the divine? Or aligned with my divine purpose? Or aligned with my higher self? Because there's definitely a soulmate connection that's showing up here. And, uh, you know, there's someone tied up to you in this energy what do we have underneath the deck we have the eight of ones there you go so there's five six seven eight and then eight again so things are flowing things are in the flow things could be happening very quickly it could be chaotic things could be moving very fast but there is going to be a point where there might be some hurdles or blockages because a truth a decision needs to be made, an important decision needs to be made, the head and heart needs to be in alignment and so does the will of the people involved in this. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. If you're still watching, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes and I will catch you again soon later. Bye.